and welcome to another Stellar Guitarist guitar tutorial. In today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Stand By Me by Ben E. King. This song is an absolute classic and it's a good song to learn for any beginner starting out on the guitar because we only have a few chords, one strumming pattern and one chord progression that is repeated throughout the entire song so it's a great opportunity to practice your chord transitions. Now, if you are an absolute beginner and you're looking for some help and guidance, then be sure to check out my free resources. They are linked below and I'm sure that they will help you in getting you started on your guitar journey. So for this song, if you wanna play it in the original key, then we're going to need to put a capo onto the second fret of your guitar. And the chords that we're going to be needing for the song are G major, C major, E minor, and D major. And the strumming pattern is going to sound like this, down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Now, when it comes to the chord progression, I'm going to put it up on the screen. We're going to be starting on a G major chord, and we're going to play one round of the pattern on the G. And then we're going to play another round of the strumming pattern on G again. Next up, we have E minor. And as you can see, it's written twice, so we're going to do two rounds of the strumming pattern on E minor. Again. Next up, we have C major for one round of the strumming pattern. We then go to D major for one round. And the end of the chord sequence ends with two rounds on the G again. So why don't we go and put that all together starting from the G. One, two, three, four. Switch to E minor. effectively going to be played for two rounds of the strumming pattern. E minor will be played for two rounds of the strumming pattern. C and D will be played for one round and then we end with the G being played for two rounds of the strumming pattern. This is the main chord progression and it gets played throughout the entire song so you can just loop this chord pattern over and over again. If you are a more experienced guitarist and you feel like challenging yourself today, well then I've got something for you. I'm going to be teaching you the guitar version of what the bass guitar plays throughout the song. So I'm going to give you a demo. This is what it sounds like. So the first thing I want you to take note of is that we are still playing with the capo on the second fret and we're going to be playing in second position. So this means that we're going to be putting our first finger in the second fret and every other finger is going to fall nice and neatly into the frets thereafter. So that's where the fingers are going to be living in those frets. So we're not going to have messy fingers playing with weird fingers all over the show. So the first thing is that we're going to be dividing this bass part into four sections. So we're going to learn section one. So section one has a, quite a lot of open strings. So we're going to play two open strings on G. And we're going to follow that up with an open D. And then our third finger is going to go into the fourth fret on the D. And then the second part of that first line is three open strings on G. And we 
end with the fourth fret with a third finger on the D. So the whole thing. From here, we're going to go into the second section. We're going to put our first finger into the second fret on the D string. And play it twice, followed by an open string on the D. Put our finger back down, and we're going to play that three times. Followed by an open D. So that second section basically is just two notes. It's when we have our finger down on the second fret, and when we play an open string, all on the D string. Let's do it one more time. Moving on to section three, we're going to be putting that second finger into the third fret. So nice, look how nice and neat that is. We're not playing with weird fingers or jumping around. We're going to be putting that second finger into the third fret on the A string, and we're going to play that three times. Back to that first finger in the second fret on the D. Followed by three open strings on D. And reaching into that fourth fret on the D string with our third finger. So let's look at that third section. One more time. And then the fourth and final section is very similar to section one. So it starts the same where we have the open strings on G and D. And then our third finger in the fourth fret on the D string. And then that gets repeated again. So the fourth section repeats that phrase twice. And that thing gets repeated from the very beginning all over again. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see And so once you get to the end of section 4, you just repeat back from the very beginning and you loop it over and over again throughout the entire song. Right guys, if you found that easy enough to play along to, then let's put it all together and join me in the next section for a playthrough of the song. A one, two, three, four. <laughs>
hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Be sure to say hi in the comments and let me know which songs you'd like me to teach in the future. If you want to learn more from me each week, then come on and join the Stella Guitarist community where I post new lessons every week on a Sunday. I hope to see you in next week's lesson. Have a wonderful day. Bye!